Hi, and welcome to the WealthWord Focus, a weekly educational video where we help you grow your career, build wealth, and live well. And this is brought to you by WealthWord Capital, where we help busy technology employees invest in passive income portfolios. I'm Christopher Nelson, and today's subject is networking in the midst of social distancing. I know it's hard. I know that we're all at home right now in these compressed environments. Our schedule has been blown up and we're just really continuing to try to make sense of this. And networking, thinking about reaching out, connecting with people that we know, or making new connections seems really hard. And, and, and I know that people have reached out and said they're stuck and they don't understand how to do it. So today I wanna to walk through some very crisp steps and a quick methodology that will help you get unstuck and move forward with your social, uh, with your networking right now, because we should not waste this crisis. There's a lot of people in help. It, there's a lot of people who need help right now and who really just want the connection. And so where do you start? The first thing you do is you actually start with who you know already, who is already in your network. And this applies to whether you're looking at your career network or whether this is you know, your investing partners and people that you're investing with. But look at your network and think to yourself, okay, who do I really want to connect with right now? Who, who would be great to talk to for, uh, number one, I want to understand what they're doing and I also want to you know, let them know what's going on. But think about who you really want to connect with. Make a plan to call two people a week or two people a day. And here's the conversation that you want to have is you want to get on the phone, you want to ask how they're doing, and then you want to ask how you can help, and then you want to tell them where you need help. Again, that's how can I help you? What can I do? Some people just need you to listen. Some people just want a ear to tell them to, to hear what's happening right now. Other people do need some help and there's an opportunity for you to create some social capital by helping somebody else out. There's also a lot of people who really want to get out of their own head and their own mindset and they want to help other people. I know for myself right now, I've done both. I've uh, reached in to, to actually help a young group of entrepreneurs who are needing an advisor right now. And while I felt stretched and, and busy, I'm excited to help them because their, their energy is so phenomenal and we're having great conversations. That is actually helping me get unstuck in some things that I'm working on and giving me energy, even though it's taking more of my time. And then on the other hand, as I'm, as I'm calling down and talking with people, I'm letting them know that I'm in the middle of writing my book from IPO to cash flow, and I need some, some people to give me advice on certain chapters that I'm writing and certain subtle things that I, I don't have deep expertise on. Both things are working well for me. So remember, call down your network and ask how you can help them, and then what, what is the help that you need? Now, people may be asking, who should I be bringing into my network right now? I know that some people have been laid off, and that's a really tough situation to be in. And I know, especially for those people, thinking about opportunity makers and innovators is really important. Opportunity makers are really in, in um technology careers, those are recruiters. Having recruiters in your network that you can call, that you can review resumes with, that you can get career advice from, that can help you find opportunities are critical for your network. I think that everyone should have at least three in their inner circle. And the great news is, is that they want to get to know you. So call up, reach out online, get to know recruiters, you know, let them know what is your career capital, what is your education, your experience, and your results. And I talked about that in our previous video, is let them know what your career capital is and have a conversation and understand what opportunities are out there. This could be a, a great time to actually join a new company that is that is growing coming out of this crisis. The other, the other type of connections that I look for are innovators, who are people that are doing things differently or help me stretch my ideas. Innovators you'll find are serial founders, people who have started, sold off companies or started and taken companies publics, public. How do you actually find them and get to know them? Because they are 
essential to giving you ideas and also you can become a part of a team that then actually goes around and, and, and helps companies grow and exit. And that's something that I think is essential to all of us to help us grow our careers and build wealth. So now that you understand the type of people that you, that you want in your network, let's then go to number three, which is, uh, you know, what, what do you do now? How do you actually go and grow it? What are, what are the practical things that you need to do? And so number one is go and attend networking events. They're there. They're virtual. You can go to meetup.com. You can actually Google search them, but they are still available right now. So I would go and look for meetups that you can attend. And, and while you're, you're there, remember that you want to be able to introduce yourself, listen to somebody, and you want to ask how you can help and tell them the help that you need. And then I also think that it's so much more powerful to create than it is to consume. So there's never a better time right now to create a networking event that you could call your own. And to do it, very simple. Invite four people, have them invite a single person each, and then have a simple format that says we're going to do some icebreakers, we're going to get to know each other, we're going to then have some type of an educational session where either you, the organizer, are talking about a subject that you know, or you're inviting an expert. And then at the end, there's just general networking time where people get a chance to know each other and it's okay to have a you know, virtual drink or a virtual beer. But you will find that that will then pay dividends moving forward. And I'm volunteering some of my time to go and speak at networking events that people are starting up. So if you want somebody to speak on career growth in tech or you want somebody to speak on uh, passive investing, I'm, I'm here to help. Please DM me and, and I'm happy to engage. So that is it. Th those are the steps of how do you grow your network in the midst of social distancing, call down people that you know, ask them how you can help and how they can help. Look around and, and, and find and discover the opportunity makers and the innovators that you need to bring into your network. And then three, either go and get involved in a networking event that's going on or create your own and have something that coming out of this, uh, this uh, social distancing with, with we're in, you're actually creating something that you can move forward into the future and build something around your, your career or around investing that you can then go and that can be an asset that continues to give to you because your network is your net worth. So I hope that you enjoyed that. If you did, I would ask that you please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to include the link below and then watch our video from last week, which is talking about how you invest in yourself, your greatest asset. Thank you so much. I'm Christopher Nelson.